Hi, I'm Adam from Paul Cycles, and in this video, I'm gonna talk you through the simple steps you'll need to take to assemble your new bike. You will need a 15 millimeter pedal spanner, a set of Allen keys, a pair of side cutters, a six millimeter long Allen key, and then some grease. In the box, you'll see the bike, and you'll see a box of user manuals. This will be down by the rear wheel. Take this out first and put it to one side. Then it helps to take the seat post off of the rear wheel. Use a pair of side cutters to cut the zip tie and then install the seat post in the bike. You can then lift the bike out of the box, placing it carefully on a soft surface, such as a blanket or a carpet. Before your bike leaves us, it's fully assembled and checked by two certified mechanics before being carefully repacked for delivery. The first step will be to cut the zip ties. Be careful to use a pair of side cutters, not a knife. You can then remove the front wheel and place this to one side. Then do the same with the handlebars. Careful not to use a knife. With the handlebars removed, you can now remove the face plate from the stem using just the four Allen key bolts. Place this to one side, be careful not to lose the four bolts. When installing the handlebars, be careful not to cross or twist any of the cables. And then take your face plate and install the bolts. Thread these in by hand to start with. Once threaded by hand, you can use your Allen key to tighten them up. Make sure that you do it in a cross pattern so that they're all done up evenly. Your next step will be to install the front wheel. If your bike has disc brakes, remove this spacer and keep it safe for future use. If your bike has a through axle, you'll need to remove this from the fork first. This axle has an Allen key fitment. Some through axles have a lever here. Simply unwind the axle using an Allen key or the lever, place to one side. Grab your front wheel and insert this into the fork. Be careful to install the disc rotor in between the pads in the caliper. Install your axle. Sometimes you need to give it a little wiggle and then rotate using your Allen key or the lever to tighten it securely. If your bike has a quick release axle, you'll find this in your user manual. First, remove the nut from the end of the axle along with the spring. Install this in the wheel. The lever needs to be on the left hand side of the bike. Then grab your bike, lift the front end, remove the fork protector and slot the wheel into place. Holding the lever side, turn the nut until this meets the fork. Then you can move the lever up into position so that there's enough force that you can then undo it just with two fingers. The next step will be to install your pedals. Not all bikes come with pedals, but if yours does, you'll find these in the box of user manuals. Remove any packaging from the crank arms and then carefully cut this card off. This card explains how to install your pedals correctly. Grab both pedals. These are left and right specific, so be very careful to check which is which. They'll either have an L and an R stamped on the axle, or the left-hand pedal will have serrated marks. The left-hand pedal goes in the left side of the bike as you sit on it. Apply a small amount of grease to the axle. Thread the pedal in by hand to start with ensuring that it goes in nice and smoothly. Then, with a dedicated pedal spanner or a decent 15 millimeter spanner, or some pedals use a six or an eight millimeter Allen key, tighten the pedal. It's important that you use a lot of force to ensure your pedals are very tight. Repeat the process on the other side. Remember, left-hand pedal has the serrated marks, goes in the left-hand side of the bike. The left-hand pedal is a counterclockwise thread. If you install your pedals incorrectly or not tight enough, 
you will damage your cranks, so please be careful. Now the front end of the bike is assembled, you'll need to check that your handlebars are straight and your headset is tight. To check your headset is tight, stand astride the bike, pull the front brake on, and then gently rock it. If you can feel movement or rocking in this area, you'll need to tighten your headset. So make sure that these two side bolts are loose and then tighten this top cap bolt here. This only needs to be tight enough to remove that rocking, so do not over tighten it. Check again, pull the front brake and see there's no rocking now. Now that's done, you can tighten the two side bolts, ensuring that you do these up nice and evenly. Finally, you can remove the rest of the packaging from the bike and take your new bike for a spin. It's worth double checking things like your bolts and your pedals are still tight after the first one to two rides, as they may go through a bedding in process, so it's worth double checking. Thanks for ordering from Paul Cycles. If you need any further information or you've got any questions about your new bike, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up to our mailing list for more videos and useful tips.